Let's take a look at some of the situations that can be considered batter um, or, or runner interference. And sometimes you will even hear this uh, term used that's the, the batter runner. And this would be a player who's kind of in the, the middle between, uh, say, if the, if the batter puts the ball into play somehow and he's running to first base, then he's kind of in that area between being a batter and a runner. So, so we would actually just call him the, the batter runner. So the first uh, example we can look at is the, that after a third strike, if the, the batter uh, hinders the catcher in his attempt to field the ball. So after third strike, the batter uh, hinders the catcher's attempt to field the ball. So obviously there are some situations in which if the uh, catcher drops the third strike, then the batter uh, can 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 run, and so this may be if the the ball bounces uh, either in front of the plate or something something like this in, in, in an area out here. The maybe the the batter on his way toward uh, first base might kick the ball or or hit it with the bat or something like that, or even even uh, uh, interfere with the catcher uh, rather than the ball, and then then he could be called out then for interference. So the next way is that the batter would intentionally deflect the course of a foul ball in any manner. So, so he deflects the course of a foul ball in any manner. And so that would, would be uh, would take place in a similar area maybe if the ball was was fouled off and it's it's rolling down the line and then the uh, batter would would be coming up beside it it's a better color if the the batter would be coming up beside it he wouldn't be able to uh, kick the ball say in the fair territory or or to to use his bat or, or any part of him to to knock the ball fair or he would be uh, called out for interference. Next one is that before two are out and there's a runner on third base, the batter would hinder a fielder and making a play at home plate. And so this is uh, before two outs, the batter hinders any uh, any attempt to make a play uh, on a runner at the plate, at home plate. So this and and, and this is uh, a situation in which the batter would not be called out, but but the 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 runner would actually be called out. The runner is out. Uh, so if we have something, if, if maybe the if the runner's attempting to, to steal home or something like that, or, or he would get uh, caught in a rundown, uh, something along these lines, and the, the batter would somehow interfere with the play, then we would actually call the runner out rather than the batter. The next way is that uh, something not a, a player so much as a coach does, and that is that if in the judgment of the umpire, a base coach at third or for first base uh, either touches or holds the runner and he physically assists him either in leaving or returning to the base. So a, a base coach uh, assists so physically assists obviously he's there to uh, assist him by by yelling things yelling directions a runner in leaving returning to a base and so um, and it, it's also a key thing that he's physically assisting him that that's part of the rule so obviously he, he wouldn't the coach 
uh, he, he, he should be uh, in his, his, his coach's box over here, or, or on the third base side, it would be over here. Um, so, so if a runner's maybe rounding third base, the coach couldn't come out and, and push him or, 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 or either, or maybe if he wants him to stop, he couldn't grab him by the jersey and, and pull him back to, to third base. And, and so the, 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 the key part about physically assisting him is that sometimes you'll hear if, a, if somebody hits a home run and the, the, a player will give a high five to the base coach, uh, some, some people uh, get upset about that and they say the coach touched him, so it's interference. But, but, but that's, that's not the case because uh, the coach is not physically assisting him in his trip around the bases. So the next way is that uh, with is also involves a, a base coach, and that is with a runner on third base, the, the base coach would leave his box and, and act in a manner to draw a throw by a fielder. So this is uh, with a runner on third base. Coach leaves his box to attempt to draw a throw by a fielder. So maybe this is something. Maybe he would uh, he would uh, come out to to if the third baseman maybe goes elsewhere uh, on the play. If he goes to back up uh, home plate or something like that, in the 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 third base coach would would actually come out on the field or 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 something even even shout or um, to try to draw that throw then they could call that that runner who was on third base out so there's a, a few different ways that a batter or runner could be called out by interference we'll take a look at a couple more in, in the next video